what is this suck swallow breath synchrony what does that mean so when you're born um you have this suck swallow breathe pattern and i guess what how we would think about it as parents is the ability for the child to eat and breathe at the same time right if we think about when the child um is eating we really it should be very rhythmical when we're listening to it and it should be like a second right so like it's very rhythmical when you're listening to a child eat um bottle or breast and so when it's not rhythmical you can hear it and you know you may hear the infant making really um uncomfortable noises or facial grimaces and so um we really want to listen to the child eat look at their facial cues and and see if they have that coordinated um suck swallow breathe using um a pacifier um sometimes we refer to that as non nutritive stim working on, um with pacifier use in between meals can really help with that suck swallow breathe skill it is coordination um and Sometimes when children are born early, they don't necessarily um, have that skill yet. And so um, the, the um, therapists that work in the hospital will work with a pacifier with the infants until they're ready to take an oral feed um, to really work on that coordination that they need. So if you're looking, if you feel like there's a problem um, with an infant feeding, I, the first thing I would do is really listen. Just really listen and see if they're rhythmical. Um, sometimes therapists will document their suck first. So how many times do they um, suck from the bottle or breast before they take a break? So, you know, if you have a very young child, you know, is it three times before they break? Or is it a child who's nine months who has 15 to 20 <laughs> before they take a break, right? So um, it should increase with age. And again, if you think there's a problem, you should just really reach out um, and consult uh, your pediatrician to see um, if there's someone that can, can really work with you and see if there is a problem. Mm. Are there some basic exercises that parents who are listening can do, general exercises for oral motor skills? So, yes, but it would kind of depend on the age of the child, right? And so one of the things I think are really important is to have your children brush their teeth twice a day and brush their tongue, right? So make sure they're brushing their teeth. Um, and, you know, are they outside? Are they blowing bubbles? Are they two years of age? Can they be blowing bubbles? If they're less than two, are, you, are they chewing on things? Do they have toys or like you know, big raw celery or carrots or things that they can, you know, munch on um, to, to provide that oral stimulation. Um, if they're 12 months or older, can they please work on drinking from an open cup, like at least once a day? So everyone's schedule is a little bit different, but I ask parents, you know, if it's breakfast time, if it's after school snack time, if it's dinner, whatever it is that is most convenient for you, if you can give that child an open cup at least once a day, because it really works on all of these um, muscles that you need um, to, to drink from that open cup. And it's, it's really great. And unfortunately, I think, well, especially here in the United States, we have working parents. Everybody's working. Everyone's really busy. The after school sports for young children is out of control. And so we're just living these incredibly busy lives. And so if we can at least once a day, just really work on um, the open cup and just pour a little bit in because they're going to spill it. They're totally going to spill it. Um, so knowing that they're going to spill it, if you can just pour a little bit um, of water or milk or juice or whatever they're drinking into that cup to work on that skill once a day um, is really great as well as self-feeding. Is there once a day where they can work on spoon feeding, work on um, using a fork? So these are really life skills that, that we need um, children to be working on. So that would, be my, that would be my advice. Thank you so much, Kate. If people want to, you know, like visit, uh, they want to contact you, how can they contact you? 
So I have an OER, Open Educational Resource um, site that has all free continuing education. So I run an international mentorship program for therapists in low and income, um, low and middle income countries. And on there is my email address, but there's also four different webinars on feeding skills, um, as well as other this sensory mo modulation and fine motor. And um, there's just, there's probably 15 pediatric webinars and there's about 40 or so all together. There's free um, pediatric assessment tools, resources, um, everything that I can sort of put together um, for therapists. Um, and parents are welcome to watch as well. It's a lot of information that's really helpful um, to get your hands on and, and get a better understanding. Um, so, and Therapro has all those great webinars as well, which is how you found me. So um, Therapro has also put together a nice list of webinars um, for free for parents and therapists to watch. Great. Thank you so much for your time, Kate. I really appreciate it.